Welcome back to Make Way for Cat. I'm going to be playing this game called Strange Horticulture. It just came out just under a week ago. Uh, it's very, like, creepy. Puzzles. Um, mundane things like labeling plants and identifying them. Which sounds like fun to me, so we're going to get right into it. I've already played a few minutes of it to get a feel for it. And here we go. The streets of Undermere are narrow and claustrophobic. In many places, the buildings lean out at the upper floors so that neighbors can reach across and shake hands, or, more likely, exchange unpleasantries. Strange Horticulture is a small shop situated away from the main thoroughfares, but it has the advantage of being one of the few buildings in Undermere that stands alone. Plants, you may have noticed, need light, and light is in short supply at street level in this town. Recently, the shop passed to me after the death of my uncle. There is much to learn, but one thing is already clear. The rare and unusual plants that he stocked have their uses after all. This game features some small text. If you're having difficulty reading, you can use the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. Super handy. Okay, so this is what you're greeted with. You have a desk. Um, first things first, I'll let you know you have this little drawer here. And it has pretty much everything you'll need. Now, we start with this letter. It says, I found it. An excerpt on the elusive wandering view. Come to the library in Ambleside. And I'll tell you all about it. I even found something on the Gilded Dendra that might be of interest. Simone. Yes, give Helbor a good scratch behind the ear for me. This is Helbor, and listen to this. Wait, is not working? Oh, I have to click him. Oh, I hope that purr comes through. Oh, oh, that's the best part of the whole game. Yes, scratch that kitty cat. Okay. So as you can see up top here... Our uncle left us a bunch of plants. Now, I am just going to first and foremost, because I like to organize things, I'm going to bring them all down or move them over into a... just an area so I don't have to scroll back and forth. Now you'll notice that none of these plants are labeled. We don't know what they are. And we have this little card here we can click on and we get this. So I've actually already found that when you put this letter away, there's something etched into the desk here. And when you click on these, it switches what the plants are. And you get this shape here. So I don't really know what this is for yet. This is a puzzle game after all. So I'm just going to pop that back down here. If you, like, don't know which drawer to put it in, you try to put it somewhere, it'll go right to the drawer it's supposed to go. So, let's see, anything else this way? Yes, we have a few things. I'm just gonna pop them over. Don't really need the watering can to worry about right now. Okay. Now I can see all of them. So, the will to explore... This is, I read from a review that this will actually fill up and you will use your map here. Look, it filled up for us. Okay. To pick which one to go to. I don't really know how this works just yet, but we do need to visit a guy in Amblemere. Amble, what was it? You can just like pop everything over. Amble's side. Ample size right here. Okay, so we'll do that in a minute. We're gonna go into like the the root of the major gameplay. So then we have this closer inspection bit. And I know the first plant that we need. Uh, but before we do that, I'll just grab a random one. And it'll tell you the flowers are made up of many smaller blue flowers. They smell pleasant. Now we can have this out and we can also drag over. This is our, our book. We open this up. I'm going to close this for a second. You can move stuff around your desk, which is kind of nice. 
but it says the encyclopedia can be used as a reference to help identify plants. Note that where I have included sketches, these are not always intended as an aid for identification. Often the description will be more useful to you. Remember to take extra care when dealing with poisonous plants. I accept no responsibility should injury or death occur as a result of misuse of this encyclopedia. So, um, these are what we have in here so far. I hear tell there's like 70. So, um, yeah. You can actually go through here. You could turn the pages. We have a couple of fungi, but I don't think these are either of them. Um, fox button. I actually think this might be fox button. So we're going to drag this over here. Or not this one. This guy. This guy here. An offering of fox button is considered by some to represent a contract of friendship between strangers. Thick, shiny leaves grow in opposing pairs along the stems. So that's what we're seeing here. Thick, shiny leaves growing in opposing pairs. So an another element to this game is labeling. Now, I'm going to use... Just drag a label over. Uh, I'm going to use purple for ones that I'm not sure of. So we're going to call this fox button. And its use. I'm actually going to write its use down on here. So it's... Make friends. See, so once it's up here, you have no idea what it is unless you're... You're going to go back into your book and look at it. So it's best to have these labels... Okay, this is likely fox button used for making friends. Um, and there's a bunch of things in here. Harlequin blue. I think this might be harlequin blue, but I'm not going to... Let's see, when the bushy blue flower heads die back, they release seeds with downy pappus, which assists in wind dispersal. Once dried and hardened, the stems can be burned as incense. They burn... As they burn, they let out a high-pitched shrieks, widely believed to be the spirits of dead souls trapped within the plant. Okay. So, I'm actually going to label this one with a purple, because I... Th I'm... Um, it's it's my guess with this one. So, we're going to call this one Harla... Win Blue. Oh, enter name. Harla Quinn Blue... Shrieks on burn. Okay. So, I'm going to put this one up here because I don't know what it is just yet. Put them together. I think I'm going to start them alphabetically once I really know what they are. Um, this one I at first thought was Lemon Dandy. I'm not really going to bother with it at the moment. Oh, I'm not going to label. I'll take the labels out. And there's a few in here. Definitely everything we have here. Ooh, what's this one? Single pink flower that smells pleasant. The most remarkable is that it can allow a person to pass unnoticed. Though not invisible, it is possible to become hidden from sight and memory. A sharp, mellow glow has sharp thorns that protect it from its pred predators. I mean, it does, but how many plants have thorns? I'm sure lots do. Okay, so... At the kitty? Oh, Hellbore, you're so sweet. So sweet. So, you press this to get a customer. And we're getting Victoria Gray. I must have walked past this shop a hundred times without ever stopping to look. What a wonderful place to spend your day surrounded by plants. I came here because I have an unusual request. At night, I hear whispered voices, too faint to hear clearly, coming from the floor above me. But nobody lives up there. The rooms are empty. My curiosity has gotten the better of me. I must find out what they're saying. So this prompts you that you need St. John's Poppy. Well, we have the page open to St. John's Poppy right here. So we're going to take a look at it. It says the vibrant petals of this flower can be brewed to create a draft that can greatly improve the imbiber's hearing ability. So that's what she wants. She wants to be able to hear what they're saying. The flowers of the St. John's Poppy are bright red with a yellow center. And we do have a plant that's bright red with a yellow center. So we're going to say that this is St. John's Poppy. And we got a plant actually identified. Book entry, collect. Oh, so we get another book entry for getting that one right. 
Okay, so now this does not automatically label this plant for you. So we're going to need to grab a label and label it. And we're going to use yellow. St. John's Poppy, and I'm going to call this Increased Hearing Done. All right. You are labeled. We know what you are. And it's nice to have these labeled so you know what you're dealing with. Okay. So now that the basics there are done, we have this will to explore. So I'm going to put the labels away. Now that's as far as I've gotten in this game so far. There's this medallion thing in here. No idea what it is. Well, maybe I can use it on the map. Okay, so the squares do look like they would match up inside this. But I don't really know what it's for yet. Then there's this. This helps a bit. Amble slide is where I know we need to go. Oh, okay, so just click on it and it... Okay, and now we pick a square. Oh, and it gives us our, our letter here, so we do need to go to Amble Slide. Amble Side. Keep calling it Amble Slide. The library here in Amble Side is one of my favorite haunts. Simone, the librarian, is always helpful and friendly and shares some of my passion for unusual plants. Today, she's grinning ear to ear and can't wait to show me what she's found. Collect. Gilded Dendra and Wandering Blue. So the Gilded Dendra, the poison is so potent that even touching the leaves of the plant can be painful. Oof. Do not drink the sap of this plant. The lips and veins will turn black as the blood succumbs to Dendra's miasma. A sure and painful way to die. Okay, but there's really no description, so I feel like we need the picture to identify. Is that you? Okay. Oh, I didn't see what the other one was. I'm going to go ahead and put this map back. Closer inspection. Do we have... Oh, and I have a cat right in front of my monitor. I gotta move her. Here we go. Um, what was it? Gilded Dendra. And this guy here. It's pungent, but not unpleasant. The bulb is a soft yellow. The leaves are waxy. Oh, the bulb is yellow down here. The sap of this plant. Uh, yeah, okay. There's really no description. But that closes it. And the other one we just got. Forest Camphrey. Ooh, dark blue cluster. Hold on. Strong smelling bulb of this plant has a powerful soporific effect, making it common ingredient in sleeping drafts. The cam camphrey produces a beautiful rounded rounded dark blue cluster made up of many small flowers. This isn't rounded. But this is, this is a dark blue. And it has a strong smelling bulb. Okay, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say this is our forest camp camphrey. And we're gonna use purple. Oop. What? Forest. Camphir. And this is used for sleeping potion. Perfect. Um. Box button, candy root, harlequin blue, gilded dendrism we just looked at. Wandering Blue. This is the new one. Okay. So-called because this fungus can move slowly in the dark, it has been known to cover distances up to several meters in a single night. The gills on the underside of this mushroom form beautiful flowing lines. They are also quite hard and sharp, earning this plant the nickname Fingers Bane. So this one just smells strongly. The undersides are somewhat sharp, but it has red spores protruding from the caps. I don't know what the gills on the underside look like. That doesn't do anything. Can't do that with that. 
I mean, it's called Wandering Blue, so I'm not sure if I would call that. This looks like the winter boar, but it's purple, and this one says blue-gray flowers. So we're gonna skip that. Okay, this one. A mushroom found in dark, damp places. Feeding on any light that gets close to it. It can seem to draw light in, enveloping its surroundings in darkness. Okay, this has milky fluid on the underside. So the undersides are somewhat sharp, so it's possible that that is the blue one we just got, but... I don't know yet. So, let's take another look at this note. Did we have somewhere... It's done. Gildendra. Okay. And a scratch behind the ears. Oh, yes. Oh, that kitty cat. Reminds me of my, uh... My Midna. Dangerous plant grows sparsely in the hills to the northeast of Back Barrow Keep. Oh, of Back Barrow. Keep it a secret. Back Barrow. I wonder if we can go there. So the will to explore is up. Back Barrow. This is where we are, Undermere. Okay, I can zoom in, but I don't need it at the moment. There's just a lot to read on here. Oh, Back Barrow, okay. Approaching Back Barrow, an industrial roar emanates from the ironworks and cotton mill. The blast furnace has a limitless appetite for coal, which is delivered almost daily via the steam railway. I pity the dusty workers of this once peaceful place. I suspect there will be a few useful botanical discoveries to be made here. Was that it? We didn't get anything from it? Oh, in the hills to the northeast of Backboro. Ah, no! Okay. I messed that up. Hills to the northeast. So if this is Backboro, north, northeast, the hills here. Okay, I messed that one up. Oops. So we wasted that one. As you can see, it started over again. So let's, uh, let's take another customer. David Schaefer. Now I know these characters are supposed to be recurring. Bloody awful weather out there today. It is raining, huh? Good for the plants though, eh? I got a letter for you. I'll take that. Oh yes, okay, great. Gosforth is a hateful town. I was beaten and robbed and left to die in the streets. After many days, I was rescued by a kind stranger, just as I had come to fear that wickedness had infected the heart of every soul in that cursed place. I began my recovery in the woods to the south of the town with a group of travelers. On the northeast corner of the wood, I sat and stared at a bright flower and tears flowed down my face at the reminder that there is beauty in this world. I shall be returning to Undermere soon. Amos Duncan. Okay, so this is, this is like a puzzle. We kind of have to figure it out a little bit. Um, I actually want to go ahead and finish this one first. So the hills to the northeast of Back Barrows. That's this here. The weather changes fast. There we go. We got it. Out in the hills, what started as a gray morning has turned into bright sunshine. A good thing, too, because it takes me several hours to find what I came for. By the time I'm done, the cloud is sweeping back over. A cloak of unwelcome shade. Collect. New plant acquired. Ooh, it looks terrifying. It's supposed to be very poisonous, so I'm actually going to uh, label it based on what that note said. Is that note gone? That note is gone. I'm going to use red as a clue. Or pink. Uh, deadly poisonous. Poisonous. Okay. I'm going to pop you over there. Oh, here it is. Dangerous plant. You can 
secret. Okay. Oh, kitty, 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 kitty. Gilbert Ames. Something's got those witches in the forest stirred up. Okay. They're not letting anyone through. I had to take the long way around down through Back Barrow. I never did trust that sisterhood. Anyway, I'm here now and I've brought Bennett from the south to trade for some lemon dandy. Hardly worth the trouble when you have when you factor in the extra miles I've had to cover to get here. Okay, so I had what I suspected was lemon dandy and I think it's this one. The smell is faintly off-putting but not overpowering and my book of plants shows lemon dandy to look like this. Right, so it's very similar. Flower of the lemon dandy is mostly associated with curing afflictions of the heart. Aww. Alright. Now, if we get something wrong, we actually get points to this arising dread. I don't know what happens when we max that out. But I am going to... Try this. We did it. Okay. And we got a new plant. It looks like a lily some kind but anyway let's label this guy because we know what it is we're gonna use yellow it's a lemon dandy heart i was gonna say heart afflictions of the heart does that mean like heart troubles like a broken heart or like afflictions of the heart like heart issues so i'm just gonna say heart issues in general because it could be anything so i'm gonna start this in alphabetical order our lemon dandy and then we have our saint john's poppy Great, and then we have this weird thing that's creepy AF. Pale yellow flowers, the leaves are quite soft. Still don't know what they are. Our will to explore is back up. So we are gonna go and try our hand at this one. So we're gonna will to explore. We're gonna pull our letter out. Okay, Gosforth is a hateful town. So we need to find Gosforth first. Gosforth. Let me put this back while I look for it. Oh, Gosforth is right here. Okay. Gosforth. I was beaten and robbed. Yep, yep, yep. Um, after many days, I was rescued by a kind stranger. I began my recovery in the woods to the south. So he would be down... Yeah, Amos, he. He would be down here. Of the town with a group of travelers on the northeast corner. That would be here. I sat and stared at a bright flower and tears flowed down my face at the reminder that there is beauty in this world. So we're gonna give this a shot. Yes, we did it. Okay. The wood has a calming effect on my mind. It does me good to escape into nature, away from the stench and clamor of Undermere. It is not long before I spy a bright flower among the trees. New plant acquired. That's pretty. Take a peek at it. A single sweet smelling dark flower. Very tenderly um, leaves on it. Okay. I think that's it for our puzzles at the moment, right? All of our letters are, except for this guy here. All of our letters are done. So we are gonna scritch a kitty. Oh yes, oh yes. Bay Swift. My dreams are becoming more vivid. I saw a woman, her face hidden behind a mask, and next to her a terrifying black skeletal creature. It stood tall, its roving head scanning the landscape, and though it had no discernible face, I could sense a hint of it, an expression about its features. Okay, what, what do you need? It seemed to be laughing. That's terrifying. Not the joyous laughter of a child, a sickly horrifying laughter that chilled me like the first breath of winter. These past weeks, I've been getting worse. I need sleep. Oh, I think we had something that we thought... Sleeping potion. Forest campfire. Okay, it's identified. Awesome. Letterdale. I don't think I've seen leaves like that yet. 
It's a forest camp here. I'm actually going to switch its label color. Okay. And we're going to pop this before the L. Great. Okay, so this game is a lot of fun so far. I enjoy this. We got a Scritchy Kitty. Oh, yes. Nora Butterfield. Got any wandering view? That always reminds me of... Oh, what's his name? That old hermit inventor, the wanderer. Anyway, the view, if you've got it. Oh, was I thinking it was wandering blue? It's wandering view? Okay, let's take a look. So the only thing I know I have with sharp undersides is this guy. We got it right. Okay, excellent. Oh, and we're end of day. Close for day one. Book entry. Lady of Summer. Is that this? The leaves curl round delicate... Or delightfully, which combined with an attractive flower and a hardy nature makes this a sought-after ornamental plant. Aids with conditions of memory deterioration associated with old age. Okay. I think it's a possibility we have that. I think that might be this. Maybe. Um, okay. So we're gonna label this guy. Actually, I'm gonna move this book out a little bit. Wandering view, and this is um. What did she say she needed it for? I don't remember. Okay, I'll label. It. I'll look back on this vod and and look. All right, and we end the day. Click a card. It started when she found something. Something that she was not meant to find. A book tucked away in a forgotten corner of the Ambleside Library. It started when she found something. Something that she was not meant to find. A book tucked away in a forgotten corner of the Ambleside Library. Row H, Third River. I'm going to write this down. Row H, Third River. Row H. Third River. We're getting a mystery, and this is... I'm just going to write down a little bit that it's... Um, Ambleside Library book? Question mark? Okay. Oh, we actually got to keep the card. Clues. Will to explore. Row H. Third river. So we have one, two, and three. There it is. Card just burned up. A dead deer in the river, yellowed bone protruding from matted hide and rotten flesh. Death for one provides life for many. Do we get a fungus? No. New plant. Oh, that looks very similar to this one. But it has two, and the leaves are different. And the color is lighter. Okay, so we solved that riddle. And that's actually where I'm going to end this episode. Uh, so thank you for liking or liking thank you for watching and if you like this series uh give it a like down below uh i'm i'm gonna enjoy playing this game although legends arceus comes out tomorrow so i'll be playing that for a bit but in between this is a nice chill game i enjoy this a lot thank you for watching and i'll see you then